Hello and welcome to the second tutorial that I'm going to do on the sequencer with inside Omnisphere. Omnisphere in itself is a multi-timbral instrument. By multi-timbral it means that you can play more than one channel at the same time. So you don't just have one patch and you're done, you can have up to eight patches and each patch can account for four layers. So it's quite a lot of scope for a um, lot of sound from one synthesizer on one instance of Omnisphere. In the last tutorial we looked at making a simple step sequence in the Berlin School style. This time we're going to take it one step further and we're going to have a patch playing multi-timbrally. In other words we're going to have a patch playing a sequence on channel 1 and another patch playing a sequence on channel 2. So we'll quickly set up a uh, very brief sequence, nothing too complicated because uh, I don't want this tutorial to be as long as the last one because uh, although it was meant to be a short tutorial it turned into a fairly long one. So we'll modulate that, a bit of an LF on that one, do we want too much depth, uh, let's have a look. Right, okay, so we'll have a turn the layer off and we'll have a, something nice and deep. Monster fatty, there we go, I'll do it. Uh, this time we'll have a rich and mogi one. go too mad with the effects on this so uh, what's that will uh, delay three feet delay keep that quite long yeah that's all right Bit of reverb again oh, that'll do for reverb that's not too bad that uh, let's have a look arpeggiator we want Clear that. No, we do not want to save. We want to clear first of all. We'll engage the arpeggiator. We'll have a 16 step sequence. We'll go that one, that one, that one, that one. Uh, we'll have 8 and 9 on 11, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, that'll do it. We'll set them up an octave. Now we'll go that up a 15, that back to the octave, make that there, and we'll make that to the fifth, back to the octave, and there we go. So for the second layer, uh, we want to keep it quite sparse and simple. We don't want it another uh, sequence like the first layer, because otherwise you'll get it very cluttered and it just will not mix well. And trust me, it won't sound well. So we'll keep this uh, so, so square bright. Let's try and say that a few times when you've had a few. Um, 
change the symmetry slightly. We'll cut off. Um, no, we're not going to engage a filter on this one. We're just going to modulate with the LFO. And again, we'll sync it. And we want the depth. And I need to change that to the same channel because if you leave on channel two, and I mute this channel, you're going to get nothing because I've only got it set to play channel one. So all I need to do is change that to channel one, and I've got what sounds like a quite a tame sound at first, but we're going to get there. Let's check that down a bit. Now, if we want to change the filter, so it's quite snappy, but like, like a kick drum. Not quite like a kick drum, but a similar idea to kick drum. Right, and on the second layer, well, let's try a sample. And we're going to try. Uh, Mini Moog, Mini Moog, whichever side of the fence you're on. We're not going to get in that, to that debate tonight. It's a Sunday night here, by the way. Uh, getting ready for a lovely week ahead. So, Deep Ballad, here we go. And if we didn't take the sarcasm in there, there was plenty. So we'll go with... Uh, Knock that layer off. Now again, we want to get our filter nice and snappy. Same with the amplifier, amplifier part of the uh, envelope. Now the arpeggiator bit we'll have on, but we'll want to blank that. Now the first layer um, we had running at 16 bars. Uh, as you can see here, 16 steps. So we've got a uh, choice here. Do we match it perfectly? Or for a bit of sort of a changing sequence, go for something slightly different. And we will, surprise, surprise, go for something slightly different. So we'll go for a 12 step sequence this time. Um, as you can see, we're not going to go too mad on the amount of steps that we activate. Now, if we modulate that with the uh, randomize, because I don't, that will then, as you can see, as I move the length, that makes these more like blippy, if you get what I mean, it's a technical term. Let's see. So we'll make it not too mad. There we go. Now then, um, what we can do, and we could put a delay on this, and it would work. But there's something else. Atmosphere has all these wonderful effects, and this one we're going to use something called quad resonators. So it's like a harmonizer, and well, you'll see what it does. And uh, I'll just set this up. So we'll just drop this down. Uh, go two octaves down. Was it? No, 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 we'll go an octave down. We don't go too deep. Uh, we'll send that an octave up. Otherwise, come on. Uh, C3. That's your base note. Look, this this bit here where it's going to start from. Change that, and don't think we want to do anything else there. Yeah, we'll just increase the spread a bit. You can hear the resonator working there. Thinking this ain't gonna work, Adrian. But if we engage the first layer, we get. And there we 
have a very complex sequence. You have layer one between the main sequence. And layer two playing another sequence. Very simple. Mixed together, it makes the whole. So let's just add a little delay on it. For little bits of uh, play, you've got a very complicated sound playing over two layers, uh, two different sequences, keeping your arpeggiator at different lengths, one at 16 bars, one at 12, uh, 16 steps and one at 12 steps. We'll always make the second layer less complicated than your first. Well, I hope you enjoy this second tutorial um, on Omnisphere and its sequencer. If you enjoy the video, please subscribe to the channel and then you'll be notified on when the next uh, tutorial will be up. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, uh, you can also check out my website www.biodiode.com which is follow the link below in the uh, comment, comment section of the video uh, where there's more tips, tricks, in not just on the sphere but in music in general which may help in your music endeavours. All the best for now.